Hi and welcome to another Proteus tutorial. Right now we're going to go over color palette and materials so we can apply materials to our rooms. So we've got some basic rooms here and I'm going to go ahead and put some cool materials on them. To do that we're going to go to our asset browser, material, material browser, and I'm just going to pick some generic sci-fi materials that we have here that are the best of the best. Uh, wall 01, fantastic. Um, when I when I talk about the material browser the way that I would think about it uh, is the top part is your grocery store and the bottom part is your shopping cart and what you're taking with you with the level so um, what I'll do is I'll double click this to put it in my shopping cart and now that I've got it I can apply it uh, to my room so with object mode selected I click on my room click on my material in my shopping cart and click apply material now you can see that um, this material just got applied to everywhere, which is cool, nice and quick. This material that I'm using right now is what we call a hotspot material. And what that means is it automatically adjusts to surfaces. And you can see I've, I'm stretching this. It um, finds the best face and applies it there. It's quite nice and makes editing um, levels very quick. So if you're not really good at arting things up, this is one of the ways to go. Uh, so you can see that my floor and my ceiling are also this material, so let's go ahead and change that. In order to do that, we'll have to select the object again, and which I have done, and we'll have to go into face mode. So I can select the top face and the bottom face. Um, I don't really have a material for that uh, selected right now in my shopping cart, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on a few of these and bring them in. So let's go ahead and use this little one for the floor. And we'll use the tall one, or the bigger squares, for the ceiling. Now that's all good and looks nice and um, looks like some of the material here is a little off-grid. And the way that we would fix that, I'm going to go ahead and select the object again. Select the face. And on your keyboard, for um, US keyboards, it is the uh, quotation and then you just hold that and you start to select drag and it just kind of you can see it start to move around and there's also a scale key but I don't really want to use that right now so we are going to leave it like this and there's also another way to do this so if, if I undo this um, this is kind of a, a tricky like duct tape solution but if you don't know how to use that one key that I just described um, you could just move your whole room until it lines up and then select the face uh, looking at your inspector you can then go to face material type and lock that and then that will stay like that from then on and we can just push this room back here and it'll stay lined up so there's a lot of cool things you can do with this um, so uh, I guess we can t talk about this just for a second so in the materials uh, or in the in in property inspector we have several options for our materials um, and it kind of this is kind of more medium to advanced, but um, there's a few things in here that you can do. So like world diagonal will change your world or tiling textures as we call them. This is not a hotspot texture because it just tiles infinitely. You can have a very large um, section with this on it. So if I just temporarily grab this over and just showed you this, you can see it just keeps tiling and tiling and tiling. But if I had this material on it, it just stress it just stretches. I'm trying to fit to the best. Uh, best uh, UV possible. Oh, let me get rid of these. So, um, now that we've got our floor and ceiling, why don't we go ahead and color our room something different than gunmetal gray. One of the ways that I like to do this, I like to go to my color palette, and the default level will have some colors already in it, but what I want to do is create something new. Well, I guess I can just show you real quick. So if I just select red and I've got my object selected and I hit apply color, it will turn everything in the room red or everything on this object red. Um, so that's really cool. But um, I don't know, for this purpose, let's change some wall colors here. And, you know, maybe this one should be green. So I'm going to go into my face mode here and select these faces here and click on green, click apply. So this is uh, a really great way to get a lot of varied looks very quickly and make your map feel very custom using the same materials in different ways. Uh, let's see. So I think one of the neat things about this particular color palette that we've got is that you can really 
tweak things later on if you want to. And what I mean by that is, um, let's say I wanted to change this to a darker green. Well, I select my green here. So if I just had red selected, I select green. And then I lower this down, let's say a darker green, and I say swap color. Notice how this immediately turned to a darker green because the original green color is now darker. And I don't know, you could do lots of weird stuff with this. Let's say we want it to be purple instead of green. You could then do purple and swap. And it will swap this to purple. Very cool. I'm going to undo that back to where we were. Now let's say you also want to change this door prefab. So in the prefabs, you just double click to bring up the inspector. And as long as you have the color palette open and the property inspector open at the same time, go down to color list. And this will show you all the colors that are currently on this door. Now main underscore one is the one that we want to change. And the reason I know that is because I named these. <laughs> you can always mess around with these and figure out which ones do what later. Some of them are self-explanatory like button or light or light two. Um, so just play around with that. So let's make this a green door. And the same thing applies here. Once you've overridden the main color, you can then change it to whatever you want, swap color, and it'll do that across the map. So very useful. Um, and we can do that with the button color as well. Fun stuff, fun stuff indeed. So let's talk about, um, I think that pretty much covers it. So in terms of coloring and uh, just some quick materials, uh, tiling versus hotspot uh, and um, the ability to change colors so if you guys have any more questions leave them uh, join our actually join our discord and you should be able to um, reach out and somebody will have an answer okay thanks man